Hello everybody and welcome to another video with Iron Gwen. Yay! And today, this is my second attempt to record a review of this set. This is set number 70827. It is called Ultra Catty and Warrior Lucy. It was released for the Lego Movie 2 in 2019. It has 348 pieces, two minifigures, and it costs £24.99p. So pretty much £25. So, if I zoom out, and I remove me, and I remove the figures, and I remove this for now, we can see the first part of the set that we will be focusing on. So this is an invader from the planet Duplo. It has a green top and a blue bottom. Actually, give me a sec, I'm just going to turn on some lights. Just look at that invader from the planet Duplo. Look at him. There we go. There's a few more lights on, that should be a bit better. Sorry, I forgot to turn my lights on. Okay, so this one has a blue bottom and a green top. You can use a handle in the back here to make the eye turn. And if I remove the eye, you can see that it's just this connected to something there. If you open the mouth, you can see how that works. And yeah, this is just recreating Duplo blocks with Lego pieces, which I don't think they've ever attempted before. So yeah. Now let's look at the main build of the set, now that we've seen the little side build. This is Ultra Catty. The head moves around on a ball joint. It has these like main things which are also on ball joints and the swords themselves clip on and move backwards and forwards so you can have it in different attacking positions. The legs, the front legs at least, move at a ball joint in there, a ratchet joint in there, and a ratchet joint there. These pauldron type things move up and down a little bit. Back legs move at a ball joint there, a ratchet joint there, and a ratchet at the feet. And they have this here, same as the front legs, and it's exactly the same on the other side. The back part moves up and down on a ratchet joint and the tail has a lot of ball joints as you can see. And then these two pieces move up and down themselves. This rain piece is rubbery so it can move all directions and if I grab Emmett I can sit him on there and he could hold on to the reins, but that's like a saddle type thing. And one of the coolest things about this is, well, it's Unikitty, and Unikitty is very expressive. <laughs> so, you can slip off some pieces. I think I've seen someone say that I could be getting this wrong, so don't don't quote me on this. But this is a new type of a new type of piece, a two by five. By what a two by five by one brick is a new thing, specially printed for Unikitty. So this is just a regular scowling Ultra Cat even. This is a regular scowling expression. Then we have a very smiley happy expression. Then we have a very angry, roaring in anger expression. And you can just clip it on with these on either side, oh, this on the top, and this on the other side. It's not as easy to remove as most Unikitty heads, but it's fine. It works. Right, so now the last thing to look at is the figures. So to start with here we have Wildstyle or Lucy 
she has a printed shield that says never stop it's obviously a stop sign that she's painted then here's a crossbow because yeah she's in post-apocalypse and needs weapons to protect herself from the aliens there's where she keeps the crossbow bolts she has a scarf new mold and a dual molded version of her headpiece with the goggles on it she has her legs printed her belt printed her torso printed her arms printed her side legs her legs are dual molded and she is back printing so she's got everything except for dual molded arms and she has a back face print I don't know if I've mentioned this in another video, but the next figure is Emmett. And you may have noticed recently that my sig fig, this guy, has changed a bit. Well, this set actually came with two of Emmett's hair, which I don't think it was meant to. It could have been a spare piece, but unlikely. So, yeah, I decided to try it on my sig fig, and I prefer the look of it. Yeah, I prefer how... My fig looks with Emmett's hair. So yeah, just a cool little thing to note. So this Lego Movie 2 Emmett has the scratch on the silver to show he's been used, which is a good attention to detail. He has printed belt, printed torso, printed legs, and back torso print. And then he has a smiling expression on the front, and a very scared expression on the back. I do not have the box for this set because I accidentally stepped on it and deemed it unfit for purpose after being stepped on. But I have the instructions so you can see what the um, print, what picture is on the front of the box. There we go. Shows Emmett the Duplo monster um, Ultra Catty and Warrior Lucy. Then here it has Win with the random classic faced guy. And there's an ad for Lego Life, which I don't think anyone actually uses. Then there's ads for some of the sets. It shows that you can mix this set and the escape buggy, the escape buggy to create that scene in the movie where Ultra Catty becomes part of the escape buggy and then here you have um, some of the other sets so there's the escape buggy again and it's Thricycle, Rex's Rextreme Off-Roader and yeah that's just it so thank you for watching my review of this set oh right I keep forgetting I need to give my personal opinion on it. Yeah, I like this set. It's good. It's a nice way to get two of the main characters. It has a very expressive, very poseable Ultra Catty. I like brick-built things. I like larger action figures built with um, Lego bricks that have so much posability like the Hulkbusters I have both of the I have the Hulkbuster and the Hulkbuster Mark 2 I have this Ultra Catty there's plenty of I love that type of buildable character and this is just a set a cheapish set that comes with one of those two of the main characters and a bad guy So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please tell me your opinion of the set in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Bye.